on the island tour. Our first stop is the beaches. Now, where we've been here for a good few days now, this is the best area to come and swim. Because one, you don't really need sea shoes. However, we do recommend sea shoes when you come into the island. And there's a lot of good places just to go and swim out as well. When you can chuck a snorkel on and you can see like some eagle rays, some sharks, the valley, just like hammocks in the sea. And we recommend, if you're gonna come here, Probably use a factor 30 and as soon as you get out of the water, make sure you put sun cream after or use the wash station that's nearby, just by the bushes, by the swing, just to rinse off the salt because you do burn a lot here. We're going to move on to the next area which will be the sun lounges. This is the main area where the sun lounges are on the beach. As you can see behind me there's a fair few sun lounges but this is really the only main section that you have the sun lounges. Some of them are comfortable, some of them are not, but they are really heavy and you, you can't adjust them. You can't really move them unless you've got a lot of power behind you. These sun lounges are on the, the beach where James was just saying this is like the main, the best beach to swim from in our, in our personal opinion. So where you've got these main sun lounges as well, you've met a station where Beach Boy kind of <laughs> hangs out, where you can get towels from, water, and he does actually have like a little mini fridge as well if you want soft drinks throughout the day as well which is really really handy you don't have to go to the main bar for drinks so behind me we have here this is the main restaurant you have for breakfast breakfast is amazing here there's loads of tables they actually have a smoking and non-smoking area here they also serve lunch here depending if it rains it'll move from the green carpet which you'll see later they also serve dinner here breakfast lunch and dinner all mixture between buffet and a la carte the buffet is very select you do get your rolls pastries some fruit but the best bit is when you're in the wine chiller area they serve little bottles of milk almond milk or full fat milk and you get little boxes of cereal and there's also a fruit station in there breakfast we've experienced is the best on the island in here um, this is where you'll you'll come first thing in the morning for your breakfast on your, on your island trip and they also have a little fish tank in here it makes me feel a bit sad because they show lobsters which you can buy at lunchtime and dinner but they serve other little fish they've got a little baby trick of fish and all that crap it's kind of sort of decorative but not because you eat lobsters and stuff this little restaurant is really nice the next part we're going to show you another little part of the beach the main pool and the green carpet restaurant all around the corner so let's go So welcome here, this is the main pool area. You, you do have sun lounges that you saw a little bit earlier, they're non-adjustable, not very comfortable. There are adjustable parasols here, so you can move them up and down whether you want shade or burn in the sun. We're also on a nice part of the beach where the water's calm sometimes, however you will need sea shoes going in the water here because there's a lot of coral. We also have a hammock in the water and then we have a beach swing just next to me and also just at the front we have these little nice cushion areas just down here on the beach now where you're here at the main pool you're very close to the chills bar which we'll show you in a few moments we can get you drinks during the day you buy the green carpet restaurants when they serve lunch you're on a nice day you don't really have to walk past they serve it's the same as the sand restaurant you just saw earlier a la carte menu it doesn't really change much and it's quite a nice pool this behind us a lot of people come here during the day and also what we didn't notice earlier the bit of beach we showed you earlier a lot of people go in the water as well too because it's very nice around there which is a bonus so now come with us and we'll show you the green carpet just behind so this is where lunch is served this is the green carpet restaurant as james was saying earlier they serve lunch here between 12 and 3 if the weather is obviously good if the weather is poor then you they'll serve it in the sand restaurant as you can see there's lots of seating area we came to eat here yesterday and it was really really hot they did have a, a few fans dotted around but obviously you're not right by the sea so you don't get that sea breeze so now we're off to the main bar on the island which is the chills bar So here we are at the Chills Bar, this is the main bar on the island where you come, it'll be open during the day so you can get your drinks while you're down at the beach and also in the evening, this is where kind of the hub of where everything you'll see so they'll do glow nights, which is actually tonight, it's my birthday so we'll be doing that um, I'm not sure if it's a white party but you put glow paint on your face they do a little guy that sits in the back that plays live music and that as well we do play some good songs here at night. This is where most people chill at night after their dinner in the evening. So all these tables here you see behind me, they are like little candle lit at night, which is quite a nice atmosphere over here. The actual seating inside actually quite really comfortable as well, quite low but comfortable. The workers in here are really nice as well. They're funny, there's one guy that's really funny that we really like. That's it for the cheers bar, it's open till midnight, so if you're on the all-inclusive package, you'll stop serving all-inclusive drinks after midnight and then they'll start charging. Most people go to bed before midnight anyway because the sun knocks you out. This is like the main little hard toe. Next, we'll go to the little billiards 
area, I guess. So let's come. So directly next to the Cheers bar, um, they've got this sort of small room where they've got a billiards table. Um, it's, I think it's actually a shish lounge as well, so they hold all the shish pipe thing in the jiggies. You've got some seating outside, which again, is really nice at night. People come to play pool. Yeah, we, we play pool and we really, really enjoyed it. So, the next area on the beach behind me is the Italian restaurant. Now, the owners of this island is Italian and he actually struggled and shipped a actual wood fried pizza oven and we were at dinner the other night and some Italians said the pizza was like a proper Italian wood fried pizza I'm doing this like mwah mama like my mama used to make the seating's quite limited I think they can only seat about 24 to 26 so when you come here you'd be assigned an island host and with your island host you can book reservations for lunch or dinner so they'll have like first seating and second seating for lunch and first seating and second seating for dinner so your first seating for lunch will be 12.30 second seating for lunch will be 2pm for dinner time first seating will be 7 o'clock and then your second seating will be half 8 so they mix it up so you can get a different time so a lot of people eat later so it's quite busier if you eat earlier you've got more chance of getting a seat the food's great here well, we've had gnocchi bruschetta margarita pizza truffle fries homemade pasta which jelly had one night and the food is freaking to die for here so you're gonna have a good meal on this island because we highly recommend food here which is nice and then next door we've got the teppanyaki so we just go there behind but just to let you know the you and me suite is literally just behind us where we're filming which is the biggest on the island we did a room tour of that the other day so if you want to see that there'll be a video popping up here or somewhere for you so we'll go to the teppanyaki next and we'll explain that to you another little restaurant here behind me is the rising sun same seating not kind of seating arrangements that you do for lunch as in first sitting second sitting for lunch first sitting and second sitting for dinner you have to book with your island host like we mentioned earlier you get assigned when you come into the island this is very limited seating probably about 12 to 14 people we're eating here for the first time for lunch today you can see that in the vlog we'll be out a little bit later on because this review began at first it's teppanyaki style so they'll serve rice calamari bit of beef chicken you can let them know whether you're vegetarian and that and they'll adapt the meal plans for you so we're looking forward to eating here later very much can't wait because we love teppanyaki style food and when you come here probably get a few bookings booked in because we try to book in and we've only for seven days we've only got one lunch and one dinner because it's booked up very much so on your first day try and book it or if you can maybe email the resort before a couple of days before you come and get this booked in and we're going to head off to the next area which is the love tree so we'll show you that next behind me we've got the aqua suites with paul um, they are right near the restaurant so you've got the rising sun and the italian restaurant they're literally the closest rooms to the restaurant you also have the you and me suite like james said you will be able to find a map on their website which is what we've done we found that really handy before we come so we knew where a lot of the stuff was the next stop is they've got like a love tree they've got like a noughts and crosses area and they've got like a large chess chess board so yeah, yeah we'll show you that so here behind me we've got the tree of love you can purchase a, a little wooden token they've got different shapes so they've got dolphins or they've got love hearts um, you can purchase them in the shop and they are ten dollars each i believe you get to write a little message on it and then you get to come and hang it on the tree of love in front of me here we've got some seating area which we sat on the other day and it's actually really really comfortable a noughts and crosses area i guess if you want to escape the heat for a little bit it's all under shade um, so you've got a big giant north and north and crosses area sun cover and yeah i mean if you want to escape the heat come and play a bit of chess then this is where you'll find it so now we're going to head off to where the reception area is and you've got a little shop but we'll show you that in a second Where we are now, this is your first port of entry where you come in when you come onto the island. Just to the left of me or right of you, you've got the jetty area where the seaplanes will come in and turn up. But most of the time you'll have a really good welcome. We didn't because it was really raining. So people come up here and join you. You've got a big platform where all your luggage is signed. Obviously you've got this lovely you and me sign. And in the background you've got the lovely pitch area with beach bungalows in the background. And we have just to the right of me on this pier is a dive centre which we're not going to show you. You can book your snorkeling 
diving, all that kind of stuff. There's extra charges for that. They have PDFs on the website, so please have a look. I believe the snorkel equipment's free and you have to pay for any damages that you do to the snorkeling equipment. Apart from that, this area gives you a really good first impression of the island, and it's lovely here. And apparently, if you come down here first thing in the morning at sunrise, around seven o'clock-ish, there's a load of bait fish by the shoreline. You'll see them, because they're a long line of like a dark streak, and you, you get some black tip sharks, small and big, and they come and hunt the little fish in the evening. So next, we're gonna head down the end of the ramp, where you'll come in to the reception area. When you first come to the island, you'll be assigned your island host. We'll be sitting down feeling at your form, so let's go that way. Just behind me here, we have a reception area. This is where you come when you first come off the seaplane. Obviously, for your, it's a 45, 40 to 45 minute seaplane ride from Mali to get to you and me, Cocoon, if you're interested. You can only get here by a seaplane. You can't get here by a speedboat. So if you're looking here to book, there will be an added charge, obviously, for getting a seaplane here to this island. But with a reception behind me, there is a little shop. The staff in here are really helpful. They help you with everything, loads of seating. And there's a little photo studio in here as well. They've got a lot of comfy seating. This is where you'll come and meet your island host for your duration of your stay. And they'll give you the details. They'll give you their WhatsApp number. I mean, you can book restaurants and WhatsApp them. You can ask them anything via WhatsApp with the internet. Wi-Fi is a little bit temperamental around the resorts and the rooms especially if you have that problem in your room just reset the router and then it tends to work half the time we've been allocated Shinaz he lost his job from um, the Shangri-La you think 19 20 odd months into the pandemic you think things would be better but they're not it's indefinitely closed at the minute so you can tell we really misses it but he's uh, he's been an awesome island host to us so Shinaz if you're watching this thank you very much for helping us during our stay, thank you very much for giving us a tour of the UME suite. Yeah, this is a reception area. So next to us, we have the water sports where you can do your kayak, catamarans and jet skis. So we'll just go pop over there now and we'll explain that to you. The water sports centre, we've got kayaks just here. Just behind me is the actual centre where you go and book jet skis. Just a word of warning, jet skis are mega expensive here. They're about $90 to $110 for 20 minutes and about $230 for 40 minutes on a jet ski. Wouldn't bother wasting your money on jet skis. Do it in the Caribbean where it's a lot cheaper. Um, the kayaks on that are free if you're staying here. You get your life jackets included with your kayaks and they do jet skis. You've obviously got a catamaran there just behind me as well. Oh, and they do free paddleboard in here as well. So paddleboards, kayaks are free. The catamaran, you can do lessons there. They're quite expensive, they're like 390 to 400 bucks. Also snorkels, masks, and I think all, just all your snorkel equipment in general is free. The life jackets. Like I said earlier, with some of the equipment, if you break them, there is a charge you'll have to pay, so make sure you look after them throughout the duration of your stay. And we have one or two more things left to show you around the island. The next stop is just these beach things, just here by, on the beach. We will explain it to you when we get over there. The beach that we're on now um, is, is directly beside the reception area, and this is where the beach fillers are. They've only got 10 of these. You obviously, anyone staying on the island is free to use this beach. However, these sun lounges here, they are only assigned to groups in the beach villa, so you can't just rock up if you're in a water villa and use these sun lounges. The beach villas as well, we haven't had a look around them, but I have had a look at pictures online, and there is a pool beside the villa, and we love the look of these. We would love to have stayed one of these. So next up is the spa. Before we head over to the spa, I'm just going to quickly show you um, the over here in the sea, if you may be able to see it in the distance there, that is the H2O restaurant, which is the underwater restaurant here. I think it's about $250 a person to be able to go and eat there. We haven't done this one. As you may have known, we done the 5.8 restaurant at the Hirawali last year, and we'll pop the link to that in the description, yeah. or you may see it somewhere. <laughs> around here yeah we're gonna go um off to where the spa area is and there's also a gym there as well So we have the spa behind me, just to let you know we haven't used the spa, so we don't have, we have very limited footage, but as you can see behind me, they do morning yoga here, sunrise yoga, which looks pretty intense. We can't do it because I have back problems, so we can't do that, but anyway, they have loads of different spa treatments in there, there's a sauna in the spa area, and we kind of wish we had more footage for you, but we're, it's actually quite limited to what we have. We've got a little bit of footage inside the area, and it looks really nice and tranquil. The next door we have the fitness centre and we have one other part to show you before we get back and finish the island tour so let's go to the fitness centre. 
strings, your weights, all the typical stuff that you see in the gym. It's obviously quite busy first thing in the morning. So if you fancy working out on holiday, do it first thing in the morning because it's not as hot here in the Maldives. We see a lot of people doing jogging and that in the evenings, like very late evenings. Come to the gym late evenings as well to work out. It's air conditioned in there. Got all the high tech gym equipment in there. So if you're, you like doing fitness on holiday, then definitely come check this out on your holiday. We have one other place we need to show you, which is the Orchid Garden which we're going to show you now, which is really cool. So let's go head over there, last bit of our tour. So we're at our last stop of our island tour and we're here at the orchid garden, as you can see behind me, you know, full of different plants, different orchids. They've got the names of the plants on the plants, on like little hangy things. And then I've just often you'll come across some beautiful little orchids like this. Um, this is what I was meaning by the the tags. It tells you what it is. But yeah, this is the orchid garden. So thank you very much for watching our You and Me Cocoon Island tour. I hope you found it useful. We didn't show the other rooms because they're just walkways. There's a map online, you can view that. But this is the main stuff on the island. You find quite useful. Yeah. Sorry for sweating, it's like eight in the morning oh, and it's so freaking, hot. it's humid here today. So if you got this far and you like the video, obviously like it for us. And if you got this there far, like it. Make sure you share it with friends and family as well on social media platforms. Yeah. Leave us a comment because we really enjoy reading your comments. Um, and likewise, if you have any questions or, yeah. you know, you want to ask anything about this island, Feel free to leave us a comment or you know send us a message on Instagram if you if you yeah, prefer to do exactly. that. Exactly. And don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel because we'll have all our vlogs coming up of on this island coming up next. So we'll see you on the next video. See you next week. Bye. Bye.